What's going on everybody? It's your boy. I am back for another Empire Talking Points. Before I start, have you guys seen the uh, like little trailer for the new show coming out called Lucifer? I know I... <laughs> Chap lips ain't sexy. That's just my public service announcement. Y'all will never fucking see my ass. I don't give a fuck. I will be in the motherfucking field. Y'all not finna see a motherfucker with chapped ass lips. That's what the fuck you're not gonna see. I just rubber shit on the football down map. Y'all not gonna see my ass with chapped lips. Chapped lips are not fucking sexy. And now it's getting cold as shit too. Mm -mm. Chapped lips plus cold. Bitch. My ass from Chicago. Chapped lips plus motherfucking windy city cold. And y'all know it is snowing in Chicago right now too. I'm in motherfucking North Carolina. Just got back from Louisiana. I might talk about that in a separate video. But mm, chapped lips ain't sexy. But into it. Uh, yeah, Lucifer. It just by the trailer. It's uh, airing on Fox. Y'all know I, I have not said this. I'm not the biggest supporter of Fox. And fuck Viacom. Y'all might get that one in a separate video too. I'm going to say that for December. You know, try to give y'all a video every day in December. But I think I might watch it. It looked like it might be interesting, all that good jazz. And hey, hey, it's something else for me to watch because uh, you guys know that Gotham is about to go off. And like, it's like one more episode for the season finale. And again, I'm fucking three, if not four episodes behind. Shit, possibly five. I, I've been going for five motherfucking weeks, y'all. I'm just saying. But y'all gotten videos in two of those five weeks, I'm just saying. I got that T. On deck. So let's go ahead and get into these talking points. So Lucius Frieda and his message. I'm not really here for him using uh Frida as a uh way to send a message. To his son Hakeem, it's one of them. If you want to do that, do that shit yourself. But the fact that you have to use another fucking person, and it's playing on, you know, one of those shrimps. I'm not even shrimp. It's a weakness that we have as men. You know, just that whole innate masculinity type thing, where it's just like whenever that is challenged, it is something that will get most men. You know, in the uproar, and for those that wear them, get their panties in a fucking bunch. And I mean, the reality is this you know, again, a little bit of a not really spirit and soul, just a little bit of nuggets of wisdom, if you will. You know, pearls of wisdom, but you know, nuggets. I like to get nuggets, not pearls. But if you are uh, secure within your own masculinity and femininity, hopefully I said that right. I hate that word. It's so fucking long and too many damn, you know, whatever, whatever. But if you are secure within that, it shouldn't fucking matter what anybody says or does. Put that out there. Let y'all marinate on that. But moving on to my next point. <clears throat> now, those are real shit. I want y'all to fucking peep this. Go the fuck back. Watch my damn talking points when uh, Empire got raided, right? What the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say? I said Becky should have been using what? What fucking out? What motherfucking out? Motherfucking Periscope on that ass. Why do I say that? Bitch, I use motherfucking Periscope every motherfucking week when I do my motherfucking trending topics. This hole right here, this hole right here, use Periscope every motherfucking weekend shit. The last motherfucking three videos that I did, if y'all ain't following my ass on Periscope, y'all might want to go ahead and look up T-Spin on motherfucking Periscope. I don't know where the fuck y'all let. I'm just saying. These, but I said, use motherfucking Periscope. It would have been not because she could have been live streaming, even had they took her phone, and shit still would have motherfucking been live. These sons of bitches use a faker scope to sit here and record this shit right here. I'm sitting back just like Lee Daniels. You might want to send me a motherfucker. My videos now have my motherfucking P.O. box, Lee Daniels. Go ahead and send my ass a motherfucking royalty check. I'm just saying. Because you'd have heard me say, you, you probably went back and add that shit in. I know what the fuck you did. Mm hmm. Anyway. So, y'all, Boo Boo Kitty is pregnant. My whole thing is this. You's a dumb hoe. You, you. We finna talk. We, we gonna talk. I need y'all to get in the comment section with this. 
Because y'all let me know if a motherfucker tripping. This whole dumb. My whole thing is, is if you finna spread your legs or put your legs to the motherfucking moon. Do it with somebody that got some motherfucking collateral. Do it with somebody that's going to sit here and make sure you got a motherfucking paycheck. See, that's what happened when you deal with these motherfucking debutantes and, you know, motherfucking nonce and shit. Because these motherfuckers don't know how the motherfucker you get down with game. And I probably should say this. And I know I'm going to lose my motherfucking black card, nick card, and all this other shit, man card, and everything else. But my whole thing is that if you finna sit here, you finna sit here and spread your legs and welcome the motherfucking golden rod up into your potassium with the vitamin D. Put the vitamin D in your potassium. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just saying. If you going to do that, make sure that the motherfucking vitamin D is rich. And they can sit here and provide for the fucking potassium and everything all in common. Because that potassium and the motherfucking vitamin D is going to give birth to vitamin B. I hope y'all picking up what the fucking putting down. So with all that shit being said, shit, bitch, if you going raw with a motherfucking cub, because he ain't a fucking lie, you going raw, you letting the fucking cub go raw on you? But Lucius wasn't going raw. So your ass got pregnant by a cub, but you wasn't getting fucking pregnant by the motherfucking lot, bitch. I'm through. What what the fuck did I gotta talk about? I'm through. Now, y'all know I'm all I'm a, I'm all about my people. Melanated and everything. Now, even though it might have been the quote of the episode by Hakeem said I'ma make that bitch my bitch. Even though y'all was okay, you would hear me say bitch on here every now and then. You would hear me say nigga on here every now and then. Try my best not to use the, you know, say nigga on here that much. And if anything, if I call anybody a hoe, I call this motherfucker, this motherfucker right here a hoe more than any motherfucking body. Because y'all don't know my background, y'all know my history and everything else, you will know why I call myself a hoe. Even though I'm not. But, it was one of those where that was the quote of the night. But y'all know how I feel about us, in, people in general, but us as melanated people, black folk talking to my black folk now I do feel that we should <clears throat> not really do that even if like I say even with Frida the persona that she has you know she has a very masculine personality it is what it is I'm not saying she's a dyke lesbian whatever can be if she is that's all good but for what it's worth you know we need to get back more or less the men the males and even just us as a society a community a culture Let's stop calling our let's stop call our own let's stop calling our own bitches. Let's stop calling our own hoes. I do this shit as fucking entertainment. But in my everyday life, you it's seldom you will ever see me call a female a bitch. It's seldom you ever call me call a female a hoe, especially a black queen. Cause that is exactly what she's in. She's not a queen, <clears throat> she's a princess. And if she's not a princess, she is a princess in training, which means she don't know that she is that she has inherited a fucking crown. But it is up to us fucking princes, us kings, us fucking men to make sure that these women, these young girls know that and vice versa for y'all that are queens and princesses is for y'all to let these princes in training, these princes and these kings know that you do have a crown. I'm going to just leave that right there. Hopefully, y'all picked up what the hell I just said right there. Moving on, what else I want to talk about right quick? Now, <clears throat> you know, Boo Boo Kitty crying and everything. She pregnant on shit. Rhonda, I told y'all that bitch ain't pregnant. She ain't confirmed it, but that she ain't pregnant. That hoe ain't pregnant. Ain't no bun in the oven. But they're talking, and she um pretty much tells how, you know, explains Lucius's logic and more or less that not only because he was explaining with uh, Lola how um you know he would get so giddy but knowing that he's going to have well <clears throat> vanilla chocolate drop as I like to call her and Andre are having a boy that is all that Lucius won one thing to let y'all asses know if y'all have not noticed it biblically speaking and just in general it's all about the boys, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Even though us is men, and I cannot wait to have my first kid, y'all. I cannot wait. I'm waiting for the right one. But <clears throat> it's all about the men because it is the man that carries the seed, and the DNA comes with that. It is the woman that carries the eggs, not demeaning the woman by any way, shape, me, or form, but it's all about that. I hate to say it. So, with all of that being said, 
all that being said, <clears throat> you know, I think Lucius is happy that out of his three boys, it is Andre, the oldest, that is going to give him a son, which means that the son will carry on the lion name. But that hoe ain't pregnant. feel that there's a possible baby switcheroo because what I'm getting is if y'all had watched um Glee because I forget characters but when that one host said she was pregnant but she wasn't pregnant it was wearing the motherfucking sh thing and shit and was trying to get the motherfucking student and shit to you know have the baby and give her the baby and shit and plot on the motherfucking teaching shit that lets y'all know I have been watching a hot minute that is what I'm getting y'all let me know how y'all feel about that moving on now ooh snitch bitch child this thing y'all fucking cook it I was so here for cause you know you got motherfucking Hakeem. He a little he, he a little bitch. I ain't gonna fucking lie. He a little bitch. That's a that's a bitch ass character. Because she even said that you know if she was telling Delgado you know if I work with um, Jamal, not only is Lucius gonna be upset, fucking Hakeem is gonna be upset. You know like everybody's gonna be upset. So, you know, he walks in on them talking and shit, and he all about his feelings. He was like, I'm going to tell Lucius, oh, so you a snitch, bitch. So you going to sit here and, and tell the motherfucker that's been plotting on you, yah, 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 blah, 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 woo, woo, woo. But you smooth called that shit when he was like, well, I'm going to still tell if you don't. Ugh. World ain't safe. For bitch ass niggas. I'ma just say that. I said I don't say it often, but I'ma say that. So then we got motherfucking Vivica A. Fox pop up on scene. Now, y'all know my trending topics video is coming this weekend. Hopefully you guys tune in on Periscope at 1300, aka 1 p.m. I believe is Eastern time here in um North Carolina. Tune in. When I say on the motherfucker dot, I might be a few seconds earlier, but my ass is coming back with a fucking blaze of fire. I'ma pull a motherfucking Miley Cyrus on your ass. I came in like a wrecking ball. I'ma come in hard in a motherfucker, okay? And I'ma slightly talk about this, but when I saw Viv coming, I was like, is she about to sit here and eat Lucius booty like his groceries? Is that what she about to do? That's all the fun the game about, but I ain't gonna motherfucking lie. But, uh, we gonna see what happens, but, you know, apparently that's the uppity-ass motherfucker in the family. We all got that uppity-ass motherfucker, that bougie-ass motherfucker in our motherfucking family. Don't act like y'all don't. But, to the rap battle, all I'm gonna say is this, two things. One, if it's a rap battle, why, every, why people know what the fuck you about to say? They ain't a rap battle. And then two, who do you think buried who? I think that Frida buried Hakeem. But y'all let me know. That is all that I got. I cannot wait until next week. Of course, I will do my damnedest to make sure these talking points are on time. That is all that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. More videos to come, at least at a minimum. I know I have Love and Hip Hop. I know that I have Real Housewives, and if I manage to do TV smoothies for Flash, Gotham, and Arrow, there's a good chance that either I'm going to do separate videos or they might all be combined. I don't know, but we will definitely see. And I'm on it, uh, Beyonce. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Yeah, so I will see you guys later. I will go ahead and I will, up I will uh, upload these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for rocking out with me. I love all of you. <clears throat> Especially to the fact that my subscriber count has not gone down since I had uh, been out in the field. And if I can just have like a really quick personal moment, and I might do this in a separate video. Um, I really do love you guys because <clears throat> it takes a lot of courage to, you know, come in front of a camera and you know just talk about your life what you're going through especially live via periscope but it takes a lot of courage to do that and given what i do for a living it takes 
hella fucking courage. So, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for not leaving me. I'm happy for everyone that has stayed for this journey. There is more to come. So much more. BU 365 will be in effect. I will have a separate video for that. Expect frequent updates. Hopefully you guys join me on this journey. So that is all that I have for Empire. I would say expect Love and Hip Hop to be the next series that I do. See as a how tomorrow is Sunday and I will probably devote that to uh uh, yeah, Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I will see you guys on this video. I truly, humbly love all of you. Thank you so much. You guys have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your weekend. Love you. Peace.